we're very proud of their accomplishments, not only in the World um, Auctioneering Championship, International Championship, Greater Midwest Auctioneering Championship. Um, those are no small feats. Uh, they uh, are uh, champion auctioneers, you've heard their bid call, but also they are champion uh, people. This young man right here is spending a year in service uh, to his church in Pennsylvania and doesn't get paid a dime. And uh, he's just out there uh, uh, giving back to people, giving back to the Lord. This man right over here is just an absolutely, Jason is just absolutely 100% in every way, shape, or form. One of the things that we have talked about at the National Auctioneers Association, uh, different, you know, when people get around and they kind of chat and so on, uh, there's been many, many times that I've heard discussions of, of men that said, I wish I was more like Jason Miller. And, um, uh, and uh, that's no small thing. And, you know, you're, you're, you're kind of smiling. And, uh, and, you know, and, but you know that it's true. You heard it, and I've heard it, and I've been in discussions of it. And, um, you know, look, folks, these boys, they come from a large family. Jason was the oldest, Jared's the youngest, and their dad was a wonderful guy. He's an auctioneer, and he taught those boys how to auctioneer. And he passed away uh, at a young age, and it affected uh, the whole family. And uh, every time uh, when Jason won his championship, and when Jared won his championship, I couldn't help but think that um, I wish your dad had been there because he was real proud of you uh, to do that. The auctioneering profession is a family. I've said that, said that, said that. And I think that this week you realize that now. Many, many times people when you first come in say, well, you know, they've got to say that, this and that, and the other thing. And uh, as the week goes by, people say, you know what? You, that truly is a family. And these boys right here, they're not boys or men, but uh, they're part of the auctioneering, big time part of the auctioneering family and culture. And uh, we would like to, and, uh, and Doc, Vicki's gonna take a, a, a picture, uh, and uh, the next time that they come here, uh, their photo will be with the Auctioneers uh, Hall of Fame, Hall of Champions, and, uh, and uh, Jarek's will be with the Greater Midwest uh, 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 folks over here, and uh, Jason's will be down a long line of international champions that have graduated from here. So on behalf of Vicki, Vice President Vicki Flickinger, and, and myself, President Paul C. Bear, and the 40,000, 40,000 auctioneers that have graduated from worldwide, uh, we would like to induct you, both uh, Jason Miller and Jerry Miller, into the Worldwide College of Auctioneering Hall of Fame, Hall of Champions. You know, 16 years isn't, isn't very long. That's how long ago it was I was sitting in these seats with you all. And one of the best weeks, I already told you this, one of the best weeks of my life. And I still have relationships to this day that I built back then that are that are beneficial and, uh, and profitable, both on a relational level as well as a uh, cash account level that I built from there. And so, what I've accomplished is, is on the grand scheme of things, probably not that big. Um, you know, you all can do what I've done, what Derek's done. You can have, we can have a very successful career in the auction industry. But the, the, the great part of this industry is, is that we are family. And the impact that we can have on other folks and on the folks' families and, and their abilities to change their income, to grow from where they were to where they want to be, that, that is really special. And that's really part of what makes the auction industry I, I think you need in the fact that we're so willing to share, folks are so willing to share with me what got them to where they were and help me grow and give me the tools, the, 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 whether it was technology, whether it was knowledge, whether it was a kick in the seat, whatever you needed at the time, there's folks in this industry that are willing to do it and when they speak, you listen. Paul Bear is one of them. Um, Bruce Brock, Bruce Brock was one of the instructors here. 
And without Bruce's influence on my life, I wouldn't be where I am. And without his counsel, without his encouragement, without my dad, I wouldn't be where I am. So we all, we all have uh, folks that help us get where we are. You're going to have folks that get where you are. And it's not going to be the same person. And that's the beautiful thing about this industry. It's big. You know, we don't all have to latch onto the same coattail. We don't all have to have the same mentor. And we can still grow and still become the, the person that we're designed to be. And we can leave the impact that we want to leave, uh, the legacy of helping others. Rising tide raises all ships. That's truly what I want to be. And I hope I can inspire you to be that person and that auctioneer as well. Thank you again. It's well, a privilege to be here. Uh, I also will say thank you, Paul, and uh, thank you, Vicki, Dawn, and uh, everyone uh, that is involved in Worldwide. I am uh, extremely grateful for, for, the, for, for the opportunity, first of all, to be back here as an instructor. It's, uh, it's a dream come true. It's something I've wanted to do for a very long time, and uh, I've thoroughly enjoyed it. And I've, I've enjoyed meeting every one of you, and it's like Jason said. I just have to echo what he said uh, about family. You truly are family, and uh, it is uh, that, that's what I tell everybody about the auction industry. And it's difficult for them to understand why it is like that. But I'm telling you, you've got to be in it to, to know how that family actually is. And life truly is about service, and it's about service for others, not service for ourselves. Um, and, and that's something that uh, I certainly need to learn yet. But that's the thing that, that, that I enjoy. And, and it's something that, with being out in Pennsylvania, uh, first two weeks it was cool, it was fun, something new. And uh, the next couple of weeks I hit the wall. And, and I, I wanted to know what in the world did I do this for, you know? And, and since then I've, I've been able to, to see, I saw areas uh, where, you know, I found out I was a whole lot more selfish than I thought I was. And so that, that was good for me, uh, to, to go get out of my comfort zone and do something like that. And I feel like that it'll help me to realize that service is, that's what life is about. Life is about serving others. And uh, for these, for today, for tomorrow, and for the rest of, of as long as I know any one of you, I want to uh, be of service to each of you. And that's exactly what Paul and Vicki were. And without them, uh, this evening couldn't have happened. And the fact that I'll have my picture over there uh, on that table is, you know, I, I feel a little guilty because I, I don't I don't know if it, if, if it should be there, uh, but I'm certainly thankful. And thank you to Paul, thank you to Vicki, and I just want to say thank you uh, to Worldwide College of Auctioneering because this truly is, I love this place, I really do. And uh, I love each and every one of you, and I'm looking forward to the years to come in this business. Thank you.